All right, this is Dave, A, B, Q, S, C, and C. Just getting set up here. We are live on a Sunday night. It's supposed to be Sunday afternoon, but I had to take my car to get the back brakes fixed. Took it to my buddy's house, and the piston on the back caliper did not want to release. So it took way longer than I thought it was going to. Normally, I try to do this after the afternoon games in football. That was not going to happen today. That was not going to happen today. As it took a little longer to get those brakes in. They're not even done. My piston didn't want to come out at all, and I was metal to metal on one of them, so going to go caliper shopping tomorrow. See, Rogers, good to see you, sir. Sorry it took so long today. We are going live now. Dodgers are playing. Monday night fo or Sunday night football is going on. I know normally I do this about like a few hours before now. But we're going to go over uh, some of the cards that we pulled throughout the week. And uh, we're going to do our normal wheel of names for them later on this week. During uh, tomorrow's video, we will be doing a wheel of names for a card that we pulled during our 1987 Tops break. So if you don't know about that one, check out that video and find out what card we are giving away and comment on that video to be entered. You have until the end of today to get entered in on that one. And that wheel of names will go on during our mailbag Monday. And then the wheel of names for this one will probably Yeah, my car is not being nice to me. So I got the, so my, my brakes were grinding a little bit. So I knew that the back ones needed to be changed. It was really just one half. Like it was really pushing on one side of them. I don't know if you guys have worked on cars, but when you, when we got the caliper off or the, yeah, we got the caliper off on the right side, the brake pads were fine. Like they were in good shape they weren't that bad uh, when we got the ones off on the left side that one was the one that was really bad and it was only the back half of it the front half wasn't too too bad so that one definitely needed to be changed i had bought the brake pads and um got them on the one side that it was grinding and then when we got on the other side um the piston did not want to reset. It was just stuck and would not do it at all. So we tried putting two of the slightly worn pads on the right, but the difference in the but the difference in the brakes. But the difference in the brakes was just too much and uh the brakes were were not working right. So going to go look for a new caliper tomorrow so we can check out those pistons what we do today sunday is we go through the cards that we've had throughout the week and some that were left over including uh, some of our um, ebay cards that did not get sold and uh, we put them up that out to you guys if you guys are interested in cards if you're on the stream tonight um, you're definitely entered in and uh, up first is a Harrison Smith Topps Chrome rookie card on a, looks like a silver parallel from 2012 Topps NFL. Four years with Notre Dame. Harrison Smith is a pretty good safety for the Vikings. Next up is a gray parallel from Complete basketball, Jeremy Lamb, gray parallel from 2016-2017, Panini complete. 
We have a Topps Gold Cleveland Gary Team Leader card. 1993 Topps. Topps Gold Cleveland Gary. Yes, Bob. Can I play my PlayStation? Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Next up is a Charlie Rogers Black Diamond Upper Deck card. You can see this thing shining all over the place. It is a parallel that is numbered 768 out of 1,000. I'll try to get you in a little bit closer here. Really appreciate you guys being here. I know uh, there's a lot of other stuff going on. The year 2000 Upper Deck. Charlie Rogers from the Seahawks, numbered 768 out of 1,000, upper deck, black diamond. Russell Copeland, Buffalo Bills card on the refractor from upper deck. You got a Panini Threads from 2008, college greats, Darren McFadden. I believe he was on there. Right on, Curtis. We'll see you in a little bit. Um, I believe he was on the their championship game. We got a Roberto Aguayo unparalleled rookie card. Tampa Bay Bucks. A um, 2017 prestige Matthew Days rookie card refractor. And a Jeremy Sprinkle extra points rookie card. Washington Redskins, same year. Yeah, McFadden, man. Just could not get it going with the Raiders or the Cowboys when he went over there. Got a School Colors Panini Contenders 2017 card. John Ross, Washington Huskies. That Legends of the Fall. Donruss football card. A bet Brett Favre. Top targets, Le'Veon Bell, Donruss basketball, football as well. Jeez. A Gridiron Kings. Feels like a canvas type card of A.J. Green, Cincinnati. Apparently, uh, teams are shopping A.J. around and are asking for a first year or a first rounder for A.J. Salute to service is uh, Golden Tate with the Detroit Lions. Golden Tate, first game back. This year with the Giants, a, a green press proof parallel of Rich Gannon, Oakland Raiders from 2017. Donner's football. Ben Roethlisberger, Team Heroes. Looks like a parallel here. 2017 Panini. Top targets, Terrell Pryor Sr. when he was with the Redskins. Future franchise, Demarius Thomas on the score, 2013. A refractor, Epics card, Jared Goff moments. Oh, man, that Rudolph hit was so horrible. And I was watching the Red Zone channel, and it happened to come up. There's a Ray Horton Tops gold card. When it came up, like they 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 showed like three different angles of it, even on a slow motion replay, and you could tell as soon as he got hit on that chin, he was out on his feet. And then, like you said, he hit the ground really, really hard, and he just was not moving at all for a while. The guys came out onto the field; they were calling for them frantically. Here's a Kyle Rudolph. Rookie card, Minnesota Vikings, because he was just not moving at all. Patrick Peterson, rookie card, Arizona Cardinals. Got a Royce Freeman, rookie subset on the parallel from 2018 Panini. And then here's that Albert Bell. Top finest that we pulled. Nobody said they wanted it earlier, so it goes into today's pile. Albert Bell, Top's finest. Yeah, 
got a Derek Nandy rookie card on the blue press proof parallel. Yeah, that was just a vicious hit. Sammy Watkins on the blue press proof. Desmond Trufant, blue press proof as well. And Marquise Goodwin, blue press proof. Rated rookie, blue press proof for Jamon Moore. Green Bay Packers. We got a Panini season update of Carmelo, Carmelo Anthony and Kobe Bryant on the all-star cards. Another gray parallel for complete Derek Favors. And some of the Donruss 2014-2015 that we opened. I checked online again, and the price just keeps going up on these. We bought one for, I believe it was like 39 the first time. And then the second time, I bought it for like 41 So we got Mike Dunleavy and Mike Conley on the parallels here. And then I checked the other day, and it was all the way up to $49 for a box of those. So we had originally gotten them for 39 that first box. The second box was 42, which I didn't really mind, but 49. I mean, I, I like to do them every other month for those guys, but we'll see what's going on. It is one of the cheaper boxes out there anyway. So we got Michael Beasley, Wade Baldwin, the fourth rookie card, Omar Asik, and Rondé Hollis Jefferson on the gray parallels for complete. Al Horford and Chauncey Billups on the All-Star card. Panini updates. I believe the Panini updates were from uh, the three-point boxes that we opened before. Topps Chrome, Ichiro, 2,000 hits on the refractor here. From 2016, Topps. We got a silver parallel of Chris Paddock rated rookie card. Donruss Optic, silver. Parallel. And Wilson Contreras, opening day, blue parallel. I do, I did pick up a field goal box for football week. So we'll be opening up one of those. Is I agree. I like those boxes. Those boxes are, are pretty good. Uh, they are, I believe, $14.99. You get three guaranteed hits, one hobby pack and three regular packs. So for me, that's not a bad value, especially with the three guaranteed hits in there. I got a gold mini of Al Leiter from Tops 205. And it says, of the New York Nationals on the bottom. This is from... Tops. Oh, that is too small for me to read. Probably 2002, I believe. Uh, my, Don't get old, folks. That's all I can tell you. Got a first Bowman card of Jesse Darcy from, from the Rays. Bowman Chrome. First Bowman Chrome. First Bowman Chrome, Josh Judy. Indians. Juan Soto, opening day, gold cup card. Nationals are beating the Dodgers. Spoiler alert. A factory set limited edition diamond anniversary from Tops from 2011 of Jonathan Papelbaum. Yeah, some gold cards from Tops. Mike Fetters, a winner card. So somebody redeemed this. And another winner of Kirk McCaskill. Gold card from Tops. Aramis Ramirez on the Bowman. This one's a little thicker than normal. So it's a reprint of his rookie Tops contract signature.
Another refractor, Felix Sanchez. On an autograph from the Cubs, Bowman Best. Certified autograph. And it's a refractor. And the Joaquin Arias Futures Game Worn Jersey, Texas Rangers. And auto. Facsimile signature. So the signature is a reprint, but it's an authentic Futures Game Worn Jersey on the Relic. Yeah, the target I went to had a bunch of the uh, field goal boxes, which are the football ones, a bunch of the three-point boxes. I was going to get more, but having to pay for the car kind of kiboshed that. So I just got one of the three-point box or the field goal boxes. We'll be opening that up on football week next week. We have Mailbag Monday tomorrow which we will be opening a box of absolute that will have at least one autograph or one relic in the box. We got a Wade Davis, Colorado Rockies, red Panini prism, 2019 parallel. Pablo Reyes, rookie card, same thing, red parallel on the prism. Rainbow refractors on these. John Carlos Stanton, Panini Prism, Derek Rodriguez. Thank you, C. Rogers. C. Rogers is our first Patreon member. I want to thank him greatly for that. He uh, just put the, the Patreon page on there. Check out our tiers. Let me know what you think about them. Carlos Radon, Rainbow Refractor, Panini Prism. Pablo Lopez, Sean Manea, the wild card starter, his rainbow refractor, Panini Prism. Steven Duggar, same thing, San Francisco Giants. We got an opening day, Alex Bregman, 2017 rookie card. Uh, absolute, the box that I'm opening, is that what you're talking about? Let me show you the box. The box is going to be, I believe it's 2019. All right. Love you. All right. So the box that we'll be opening tomorrow is 2019 Absolute Football. We'll be opening this up during Mailbag Monday tomorrow. One autograph or memorabilia card per box on average with a total of 64 cards per box. Later in the week, we will also be opening this field goal box. Field goal box has one autograph, one memorabilia card, one hobby pack, plus three packs. Sometimes they do put extra hits in there. It's not very often, but every once in a while. In case you missed it, next week, Wednesday, we will be opening up a box of 1990 Fleer football cards yeah it was really hard for me to find those i was looking all over the place because i wanted ones that had an auto or a relic in it and i found those at one of the targets that we had not all of them had it as i guess they either sold out right away and uh saturday next saturday we will be opening 2003 NFL football cards from Tops. This is a box of jumbo packs. Looking for autographs of Barry Sanders, John Elway, Carson Palmer, and more. 12 packs with 35 cards per pack. The two bottom stacks on the 90 Fleer and four of the packs from the Tops are already spoken for, as well as two packs. From our Friday box, 1994 Fleer. The two bottoms are spoken for on this one. I've been looking and looking and looking for jumbo stuff. As it seems like the jumbo 
packs, especially the hobby boxes, seem to have more of a chance of getting autos, relics, that sort of thing. And I finally found this one. Cost for the for the packs for the jumbo packs are six dollars per pack. There are a total of twelve packs altogether. Four of those packs are spoken for. The other stacks have the top left and the top right available. Uh, if you are interested in any of those, the other ones are uh, four dollars per side. Top left and top right still available on them. We got a Jacoby Jones. Looks like a refractor 2019 tops. Back to the giveaway cards. I'm hoping for some fire out of those. Cardinals pitcher started game one of the divisional. Miles Mikolas, future star card from Topps Chrome. A freshman flash from Topps Chrome. Chris Shaw, rookie card. 2019 Donruss, Saquon Barkley. We found one of his relics in a regular retail pack. A.J. Brown, rookie Gridiron Kings for the Titans. A David McCarty, 1991 draft card from Classic, signed and numbered 2282 out of 2450. Jose Abreu, looks like a refractor from Topps Chrome 2019. One of the Panini Contenders cards that we pulled. Terry Beckner Jr. on the autograph, on the sticker. In case you missed, Pack Roulette. We opened Pack Roulette at game time this week, and somebody had a card from Panini Contenders Draft 2019 that was basketball, and the signature was terrible. It looked like a sideways T, and his name was Kevin. So check that out if you have not seen that signature. Let me know what you think about it on our Pack Roulette video from this week. That signature was horrible. We got a tops total card from Drew Brees, 2003. Back with the Chargers and a Josh Bell rookie card, 2017 opening day tops. So we did pull some good stuff this week. A lot of this stuff, and I believe this is the stack that has the stuff we pulled this week, but a lot of the stuff that we pulled. Um, was pretty good. These are some of the things that were left over from either previous giveaway weeks. Yeah, Kevin with a T, the K is silent. Miguel Sano, Red Wave, Parallel Card, Minnesota Twins, Donruss Optic, a Starling Marte, Red Wave Parallel, Donruss Diamond Kings for Optic as well. Dennis Santana, Rated Rookie Card, Red Wave Parallel. Donruss 2019, a blue press brew, Gary Jennings Jr. rated rookie card. So yeah, there are so many cards that, uh, and eBay only lets me put on so many per month. So if some of them weren't picked for the giveaways last time, I will. And uh, I wasn't able to put them on eBay for the month. I'm definitely recycling them back to you guys. We got a 10 of swords from Gypsy Queen. Edwin and Carnacion. Two 2019 opening day Mike Trout cards. A team uniform evolution with Vladimir Guerrero on the Expos card and Bryce Harper on the Nationals card. Yeah, go ahead and use my phone. Okay. A 150 years card, Edwin and Carnacion. Yeah, my 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 van's been nothing but trouble this year. Yellow parallels from the Walgreens boxes that we opened tops 2019. Chris Ionetta, Scooter Jeanette, 
a rookie card of Eniel De Los Santos and Logan Morrison on the yellow parallels. Yeah, Donner's 2019, two rated rookie cards, Michael Kopech and Ramon Laureano. Some Donner's American Pride cards, collegiate national team Zach Watson, Tanner Burns, and Andre Pallante. Don Elite 2008, Ryan Chafee, Extra Edition, Graham Hicks, and Brent Morell. This one's um, a refractor here. Blake Takati. And two, looks like a 2015, nope, 2014. One's a Topps Chrome, Silver Parallel, Will and Rosario. And regular Topps, Wade Miley on the red refractor. Uh, mine is a 2008 Dodge Grand Caravan with about 172,000 miles. So I'm not too far behind you on that. Give me one sec, guys. My, my son needs something. I will be right back. Going. All right. So the place I bought this van from, they went bankrupt this year, or no, not this year, last year. And uh, I had three payments left. Like, I really don't care if you want to go bankrupt. But you can do it when I have 20 payments left, not three payments left. So we're going to go over the top 10 right now while we're in between stacks. Yeah, three payments left. And that van was going to be mine. So we can't even get a hold of them as in uh, last September. They called us and told us that what was going to happen. And that uh, somebody would be calling us to let us know where we could... Uh, start paying them and we never got the phone call and the place went out of business they are not even over there at where they were anymore yeah just gone three payments left <sighs> it's not been fun ever since then the van's just been a pain in the neck i mean it wasn't the van's fault that it got broken into but that was just the whole start of it the rotors i had to replace the right side rotor as the ball bearings um had lost their had lost their uh lubrication so that was probably two months ago then the van got broken into now the back brakes or at least one of the back brakes was going out so it's just been just been a mess so we're gonna go over the original top 10 first we got kyler murray on that cracked ice panini player of the day relic Jose Ramirez, Allen and Ginter, relic card. Still have our blue, Billy Hamilton, 134 out of 150. Tops Big League, 2019, Michael Conforto. Twenty-seven out of one hundred on the refractor. Byron Murphy, orange parallel. Absolute Football 2019. This was the first box we opened of the 2019. We'll be opening another one. This one's 53 out of 75 on the rookie card. The UFC pack that we opened had an Ion Kudalaba rookie card on the refractor. Autographed on card. The Kristen Stewart on card auto from Topps Chrome rookie card. That C. Rogers so graciously gave us his redemption on. J.J. Watt, 2019 Donruss, orange parallel. 
60, 26 out of 99 that we got from Moonfish 99 on eBay. Rowdy Telez, we got this one from Moonfish as well. Sticker Auto and another Moonfish 99 card. Uh, on card, Donruss, rated rookie, silver. So what we've been doing is uh, you guys tell me the top three. If you want to do more than three, you are more than welcome to tell me your top three or top five or whatever. Just top three in case you can't decide on some. So the first card up is our pack roulette card. Zach Brown, purple parallel, first Bowman, Bowman Chrome, 90 out of 250 on the purple parallel. Next up is the... Allen and Ginter, Michael Kopech, rookie card, mini framed autograph that we pulled out of our value pack of Allen and Ginter. And last but not least, the Garrett Cole silver parallel. This guy was so dominant in his game last night. 15, I believe 15 or 16 strikeouts is what he had. This bad boy is numbered 58 out of 103. Yeah, that mini auto. Is fantastic. He is all on. Normally with the minis, they struggle because it's so small, kind of like the sticker autos. But Michael Kopech was on this one. So Garrett Cole, Michael Kopech, and Zach Brown are the three new entries. You can give me a top three, but I would appreciate more than that. Um, and we'll go from there. If you if all you give us a top three, then that, that's cool. No worries. But uh, if you want to do more than a top three, that will be used for the votes as well. Anything that uh, does not get a vote, I'll have to determine on my own. And then we'll go over the top 10 again next week. Moving on, we got some Tops Finest, Xander Bogarts and J.D. Martinez from 2019. Some Panini Prism Parallels. This one's the parallel of David Peralta. Then we have some regular Panini pr Prism David Peralta's. One, two, three, four more. This one looks like a rainbow parallel. Then we have a gold card, a winner card of Jose Okendo. A Babe Ruth Amazing Milestones from 2016 Tops. And then some 94 tops gold, Kirk McCaskill and Paul Wagner. 93, Scott Lewis, Greg Vaughn, John Burkett, Lance Blankenship, and Jeff Blauser on the tops gold. All right, so let's see, what else do we have here? Braves versus Phillies refractor card on America United We Stand, September 17th, 2001. Baseball was just getting started back up. Brought a lot of people back into the game, including myself, I believe. Kevin Apier, winner card. Charles Nagy and Kevin Morton, tops gold. The Morton is a winner card. Got a blue Cole Calhoun. Opening day, Murray, Kopech, and Eloy. You got it, sir. A Ty Wigington parallel. A couple refractors here, Derek Bell and Harold Baines. Tops 95. Refractor card, NL Nails. Looks like Harper and Scooter Jeanette. A Gold Rush card from Score 95, Greg Colbrun. A Donruss Gold, it looks like. Dwayne Ward. A Bowman Gold card, Scott Sepicki. Some Tops 50 year anniversary cards, David Segui, Brooke Fordyce. Manager Johnny Oates and Larry Rothschild. And then a gold parallel of Tony Gwynn Jr. Didn't play very long. 
I remember he was on that show where they would pull cards and they were looking for cards of his dad. A gold upper deck of Jose Reyes. And a refractor from upper deck, Adam Everett. Yeah, so the van's just been a pain in the neck. I'll be happy when we can finally get something better instead. So football week has a bunch of good stuff coming up. Mailbag Monday with that absolute card box with one auto and one memorabilia card. Tuesday, we are opening up um, our hot box cards. We got our baseball hot box card box in. So we'll be opening that up. Top's Finest, Mookie Betts, Whit Merrifield, Salvador Perez, Billy Hamilton. This We had his uh, parallel, the blue one and the purple one. Now we have the regular one. A refractor on that card. Ryan O'Hearn, everybody's favorite autograph this year, other than Cedric Mullins. And let's see, we got a... Tops Greatness Returns with Justin Verlander. A Refractor of Gregory Polanco from 2019 Tops. 35th Anniversary Card, Luke Weaver. Some more yellow Walgreens parallels. John Lester, D. Gordon. Abacel Garcia. Jaime Berea. Sir Anthony Dominguez and Paul Blackburn. Last for this pile is Scout's Choice from Bowman, Kevin Falk, Kevin Johnson, and a late bloomers insert card, Jamal Anderson. Most of the next stack will be cards that we pulled throughout the week. Uh, we're going into football week next week. We showed off our breaks. We'll be going into basketball week after that. Now we should have our boom box either the end of the last of the third week or the beginning of mismatch week. Oh, let's see here. We are going to be all right. So there was a bunch of stuff today. Lots of other games that were going on. So I appreciate you guys being here. And since you are here, this is a live stream only. You guys get your choice of either a DeMarco Murray rookie card or the blue parallel of the Charles Woodson that we had. Yeah, Jamal got a lot of heat in that Super Bowl for dancing that dirty bird, but he was doing it. So if you guys are interested in those, just let me know. This is a live stream only offer. Either the Charles Woodson or the DeMarco Murray. I know Char C. Rogers isn't going to want Charles Woodson, but. All right. Next stack up. Tukey Toussaint on the silver Rated rookie parallel for Donruss Optic. The UFC cards, I didn't really want them. I just wanted to look at them and see what they were. So we got a Corey Anderson. These are the Topps Chrome UFC cards that we pulled. Alir Latifi. Anthony Pettis. Nina Ansaroff, rookie card. So if you have a favorite UFC fighter, and I pulled their card. More than likely, it's going to be in here. Alexander Volkov. Dustin Poyer. And these are the Donruss cards that we pulled on Pack Roulette, Black, Parallel, Daniel Palka. Adam Jones on the Diamond Kings. That nickname card of Mikolas. Black parallel of Eniel De Los Santos rookie card. That tops archive 
of Ichiro Mariner's card. Now and then for the 21st century man, first player born in the 2000s to play on a major league team. <laughs> Charles Woodson, man. Darren Till on the 84 throwback replica card. Vicente Luque, rookie card, Walter Waite, and Don Quixote's Lance. Incredible equipment. Allen and Ginter, 2019. Okay, What's in, man? He is kind of obsessed with that being a fumble. What's that? Are they almost back? I don't know, bub. Go play your PlayStation or your Nintendo. Greatest moments, Sandy Kopex. 35th anniversary, all-star card, replica, 84, Derek Jeter. Now, franchise feats cards that we saw for Randy Johnson. Donner's Optics, Silver Parallel, Joey Votto. They were trying to play that other kid. Mitch Hanniger, Donner Soptic, Diamond Kings. Peak Performers, Mike Trout. They were trying to play him so much that Brady really didn't have a chance. That's why like, I liked the other guy they were, they were trying to play, but I think that's just because they were trying to shove him down everybody's throat. That I don't even remember Tom Brady being in Michigan until I watched the video about it. Mythical card of Shohei Otani on Donner's Optic. Some of those lime green parallels that Donner's Optic has. Trevor Story. Carlos Correa. Jose Urania. And Rowdy Telez, rated rookie. Drew Henson, yes, Drew Henson. Yeah, they were trying to play him so much that Brady just couldn't get on the field. He got that nickname card of Shohei Otani for Donruss 2019. Showtime. Shohei Otani nickname card. Only down to a few cards left on this Sunday week in review. I was calling it Sunday Fun Day, but Primant, I saw he was doing a Sunday Fun Day. So I don't want to take away from anything he's doing. We will call it the Week in Review. Black Diamond Kings, Alex Bregman. I'm sure he's been doing his a lot longer than we've been doing ours. Rookie card, Justin Williams. Brandon Crawford, Black Diamond Kings. Didn't he play with the, um, after it didn't work out with the Yankees, didn't he go to the Cowboys? Black Diamond Kings, Mookie Betts. Like, he couldn't decide what he wanted to do. Like, he wasn't going to play with the Yankees in the major league level. So didn't he go back and try to play with the, the Cowboys? He actually started a few games for them, didn't he? Hobie Milner, Black Parallel. I haven't seen the score. I barely got to watch football as we were taking breaks from... Trying to get that piston to close. Albert Almora Jr. Black Parallel. Caleb Ferguson rookie card for the Dodgers. Haven't seen much of him. He might have been injured. Chance Adams. Rated rookie card. Some water, Dad. Yeah, go get some water. <laughs> ended with the Lions. So oh, yep, didn't know not know that. I thought he just ended with the the Cowboys. Cianel Perez, rookie card. That Odubel Herrera Refractor Red Parallel. An Elite Series Glaber Torres. New York Yankees. Glaber Torres, second base. Tops Magazine card of Jose Altuve. That Nick Ahmed. 
Tops Fire card that we pulled. And the blue parallels around us off. Shohei Otani, I really liked this one when we pulled it. And then it wasn't until I saw the video later on that I saw that the Fired Up card had these Houston Astro symbols all over the back of them that lit up as you turn the card back and forth. So that was cool. That one is uh, Carlos Correa as well. And another Chance Adams on the blue parallel. I really dig in the the Otani, though. I don't know. For some reason, it just looks better than the Chance Adams. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe it's because it doesn't have that blue part right there. I don't know. And this one has the team name up here, but this one doesn't have it over here. Just really weird. I think this is the... Um, the version of the of this card while well, this one's its own separate thing this might be the blue chip cards and this one's just the regular one but yeah they look nice wasn't a big fan of the fire until we saw those uh those parallels the fire was okay just till till until those blue cards came out i was just okay with it but All right, so those were the cards. Top 10. C. Rogers has already made his votes for the top 10. Byron Murphy. Kopech. I can't remember who the other one you said was, but those are his top three. If you guys have a top three, let me know on the replay as well. If, if uh, you see cards that you like that you want definitely in the top three top five heck i'll even take a top 10 just so we get votes for everything and uh if you haven't checked it out you have until the end of tonight this was the card that we were giving away we get we pulled three from our 1987 box it is a barry bonds from 1987 tops we pulled three c rogers got one Uh, we're keeping one of them since it wasn't sponsored. And the third one is the one we are giving away, which was that card that I just showed right there. If you are interested in getting in the wheel of names for that card, just drop a comment on that video and let me know. Uh, we will be starting football week starting tomorrow with that retail box with the autograph or memorabilia card of Absolute Football, along with mailbag monday mailbag monday only had one thing so not a whole lot to it there should be some more stuff for next mailbag monday and then tuesday yay and then tuesday we're going to be opening up our box of hot box cards from the guys over at hotboxcards.net wednesday will be the 1990 fleer football cards Oh, let's see. Thursday, I'll probably do that field goal box. And then Friday will be the 1994 Fleer football. And Saturday, we'll go live with 2003. Those jumbo packs, NFL tops football cards. Hoping to find um, exclusive Super Bowl and Pro Bowl relics, as well as those autograph cards. So thank you, everybody. Make sure you put that you want some cards from this pile. Otherwise, C. Rogers and C. Elliott will be the only ones, as those are the only ones I've seen so far. And we'll do a two-person wheel of names if nobody else says anything. You have until, we'll give you until Wednesday to say you wanted one of these cards. Uh, once again, I appreciate all of you for being here. You guys had other choices and you chose to be with me. So I truly appreciate that. Um, we'll get some stuff out to you guys. And pack roulette, in case you guys missed that. Um, I did pack roulette last week. I'll probably do it with a field goal box this week. Pack roulette. We opened those that, that pack of Bowman Chrome. Uh, we did not pull an autograph. And Jordan said that there were two autographs per box in there. And nobody had pulled one yet. So I had gotten two other packs while we were there. 
And we will open those for Pack Roulette along with the field goal box on Thursday. So make sure, check us out on Patreon. Let me know what you think of the tiers. Thank you, C. Rogers, for putting that up there again. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Uh, give the video a thumbs up and drop some comments. Let me know um, what you'd like to see in the future or how you think we're doing or how you think we can improve. I'm always open to suggestions and new stuff. Um, we're always changing stuff around just to see what works and what doesn't. And uh, hopefully we can get some more good stuff out to you guys. Uh, C. Roger, C. Elliot, before we go, we're going to do a lottery card. So C. Elliot yesterday was asking for me to show all the lottery cards. Um, I was going through the cards, and all of you only need one more. So if you get your one more, I'm not going to show all the cards. All of you only need one more. So we're going to pull a card right here right now. There are like five cards, six cards left. And all of you only need one more card. And I believe they're all different. So we're going to pull a card here. Bub. So we got one. Look, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. What number? Six. Six. All right. Card number six it is. It is La Palma. Yeah. One of you just won, as I believe one of you needed La Palma. There is only, all of you only need one more card to win. And La Palma is one of the ones. So check your cards. If you had La Palma on it, you just won. Can I see that OBJ rookie card. And just for you guys being awesome, what we're going to do is that first place was the OBJ rookie card. Was that you, C. Rogers? Did you have La Palma? I know one of you did. I don't remember which one of you it was. So you're getting an OBJ rookie card. And the others can have their choice, or C. Rogers can get his choice of a either a OBJ Nick Foles rookie card. Let's see if I can get it where the sun's or the lights not shining. But Nick Foles rookie card, Patrick Peterson rookie card, or a Teddy Bridgewater rookie card. Your choice. The other two guys, I will send a card to them. Let me know which cards you were interested in. C. Elliot, give me like a top three just in case C. Rogers picks your card. As I believe C. Rogers has gotten it. Lotteria on the last card, La Palma. Everybody only needed one. So we're going to show there's La Palma. It was La Maceta, which I believe somebody, one of you needed. All right, you want OBJ? Sure, sure, sure. See, Elliot, which one would you like if you're still here? La Maceta would have been the next one. Which one of you needed? La Alacran, the scorpion. Can I help you? La Dama, the lady. All right. You're fine. And the other one of you needed El Baracho. So C. Rogers has picked the OBJ. Uh, C. Elliot, let me know which one you want. And Johnny Waldeck was the other person that was playing. Uh, starting next week, we will start a new Lotteria game. Uh, let me know if you want to play for that. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Or Justice. Silver Parallel Rated Rookie Donruss Optic from 2019. Now yeah, making the Yeah. He could have picked one of the other ones. He picked number six, and that was yours, apparently. So congratulations to C. Rogers on getting that lotteria. 
and winning that OBJ rookie card. C. Elliott, Johnny Waldeck, let me know a top three of the other ones you want in case um, one of you picks one of the other ones. And uh, we'll start lottery next week. I'll let everybody know tomorrow during tomorrow's video as well. That way we can get started on that. Vladdy Jr. 2019 Donruss Optic Silver Parallel. And uh, yeah, hit that subscribe, tap the bell for notifications, give us a comment, like the video. We will catch you guys later. Congratulations to C. Rogers. Good job, brother. Have a great night and stay safe.